After my PhD graduation, I worked as an assistant curator at conservation office in LCSD. There are four streams of assistant curator. Besides those who help organize arts, science, and history exhibitions, there are conservators who provide conservation support to public museums. I belong to this stream. The profession of conservator is well established worldwide. Most conservators are employed by museums, historical sites, universities, and libraries. Locally, there are about 30 conservators working in our department who work for the public museums. My daily work touches three areas. Firstly, I inspect the exhibition items imported from the overseas for use in various exhibitions in Hong Kong. We write professional documentation and condition reports. Secondly, we propose treatment to repair and preserve objects. Besides artworks, there are also other objects requiring preservation. For example, we took care of the training spaceship of Mr. Yang Li Wai at the Science Museum. Lastly, we conduct chemical analysis of material used in the treatment in order to select or design a restoration method. We also attend professional meetings and read professional publications in order to keep current with changes in technology and methodology. This summer, we will present a poster on our research at an annual meeting of the International Institute for Conservation of Historic and Artistic Works, the AIC. This duty required me to have a strong academic background in chemistry, which I obtained from ABCT. I love my work, which is a perfect crossover between chemistry and the arts. Compared with fundamental research, my work more often ends up with a tangible product which the public can see and touch. Our goal is to keep history and artworks alive for future generations. This makes me feel like I have a bigger purpose in my career. For example, I once took part in the project to collect and preserve the umbrella store Ho Hee Ki after the death of the store owner, King of Umbrellas. The King of Umbrellas hold a Guinness World Record for making the most expensive umbrella in the world. Even the British Queen and the royal family bought his handcrafted umbrellas. I'm so proud that I could be part of the team that brought this piece of important history into the museum. But like most science lovers, I once questioned myself about the prospect of studying science in Hong Kong. This struggle was even more intensified when I decided to study further from undergraduate to PhD. The career path for a science student is not really a step-by-step -step when compared with other majors. However, with continued and mindful searching, one can always find one's passions.